kitchen table. What I've got here is going to be a review of my DIY night vision IR. What I'm showing you now is the figure of eight mount again from Amazon. Okay, it attaches to the scope and then in turn attaches my illuminator and then there's a weaver mount on this side and there's a weaver mount on the other side depending if I'm if you're left-handed or right-handed I guess all I use that for is attaching the screen so we're going to run through the rest of it now how it all works and everything else okay, the first part of the setup is the IR illuminator here okay it's a t20 lamp okay I just typed in t20 IR torch into Amazon and up came this um, I had a look at uh, a few reviews of them on YouTube and they do seem to be one of the best illuminators out there for their money on the front here you've got from spot out to flood all of the shots I've uh, taken and posted on YouTube prior to this uh, my field tests and so on have all been on flood that works the best and that goes all the way out to a good 100 meters plus. So the next piece in the puzzle was how to connect the camera to the scope. This was quite easily done by using one of these. It's a straight connector. It fits straight over the scope here. I measured up the scope here, a Hawk Panorama, and it's 41 mil here. These are a standard size, 41 mil just happens to be a standard size. So this is a straight connector. It's made by a company called Flowplast and they're available here in the UK from Screwfix. About £4 for a pack of five and that slips straight over. Okay, it's a little bit tight because on the uh, relief here, the focus for the reticle, they've got uh, a nice rubberized ring here which is slightly bigger than the actual scope itself. So when it goes on, it gives you a nice firm push fit. If I didn't have that, all I would do is just a simple little wrap of insulation tape and try it out until it fitted nice and snug. So we've, we've attached that to the scope now. Now I've got to work out how to attach and hold the IR viewing camera. So I've got my connector now attached to my scope. Same company again, Flowplast. They make one of these, it's like a, a rodding eye end, as they call it. So it unscrews from the end, gives you a waterproof connector, okay, and allows you to clean the pipe if it's blocked. The camera itself that I got, which is an E700 uh, camera, again, link in the box below, just happens to be diagonally on the square 40 one millimeters here's the camera okay beautiful little bit of bit of kit tiny as tiny can be but it comes with a 16 mil lens on it and the IR filter taken off so it's ready to rock and roll so all I've got to do is take my connector drop it in the back and push in as you can see it's a beautiful fit fits like a glove the other thing I've done on mine is because otherwise, as you would have quickly noticed, you can't get the end on. Okay, so I just drilled a small hole on the end here, about six mil, and then taped the two pieces together using insulation tape. Okay, so now that fits in the back. What I've done, or what I usually have tried to do, is to square the camera up to this point here, so I have a reference point when I fit it onto my scope fits in there nice and snug okay there it is there's the camera and it's perfectly centered as well perfectly centered so there we go put the cap on and now I've got a waterproof connecting mechanism to fit on my scope with lovely relief with the perfect relief okay what we got here is the uh, monitor I use it's a car reversing monitor, okay, um, full colour, I think it's HD, but uh, the modification I made for it, okay, is here. Comes with a little sticky pad on the foot here, so 
rip that off and it exposed like a little recess in the bottom here so the next thing I did was I got myself a scope mounting weaver rail system buy them in a pair cut the ring off junk, and then uh, proceeded to file it flat and then set it in this ball of epoxy okay and that's it so that then sits nice and neatly like that on the side of the scope in here onto that uh, figure of eight mount so then you can look at it straight on on the left or if you're right-handed uh, sorry left-handed you can look at it on the other side okay lovely little uh, little screen very clear unfortunately as I said <coughs> when I've taken the film of me with the test I haven't been able to connect anything to the AV out here I'm in the process of researching what's the best mini uh, recorder to use for this stuff so uh, as soon as I get one of those I'll let you know and we'll do a review of that and then you'll be able to see it even better okay so that's the screen sorted out now Here's the actual setup on the gun. We've got the camera here looking down the scope. We've got the relief connector there attaching it to the scope. We've got the IR illuminator on top of the scope and mounted off the side of the scope here. We've got the screen. All the wires come down and feed via battery and various connectors here. Okay, which we're going to run through right now. So We've got the camera and the connector, we've got the IR illuminator and we've got the screen to view what's happening down the camera. Okay, The next thing we need to uh, power everything up obviously is a battery. Okay, So here's the battery, 12 volt battery. Picked it up off uh, Amazon yet again. Okay, Just typed in a specification for the camera and up popped this fella. Okay. Where the issue I had with this was, was not in the quality, not in the power reserve, everything. It holds the power fantastic and it's lovely. What came up, the problem that came up with it was this. Power lead. I've only got one into the battery and one into either the camera or the screen. So what I had to then next source was one of these, a two way. So I've got one here for the camera, one here for the monitor. So it just slips in like that, nice tight fit. Then I can do for the monitor, then I can do for the camera, then that plugs in to the battery. Hey presto, turn it on, there we go. Everything comes live now, everything's live. So I've got the whole system put together now and it all comes under 200 pounds which I'm very very happy about okay hope you've enjoyed this and I'd like to say thank you very much to all of my subscribers both uh, here and around the world and if you haven't subscribed yet please do more videos of me using this uh, night vision system to come I think I'm going to have an awful lot of uh, enjoyment from it never mind just making it thank you very much for watching Bye for now.